Hello everyone, this is Lawanda Lucy, and today I would like to speak about Siemens C Trans P DS3 for pressure and differential pressure transmitter. But first of all, I would like to notify you that C Trans P DS3 has been discontinued by Siemens and it's only available as a spare part. But I decided to speak about Siemens C Trans P DS3 because it's still widely used in our region. In this tutorial today, we will demonstrate the push button keys of C trans P transmitter and we will demonstrate all parameters inside C trans P and we will do a calibration accurately without any pressure source. So let's go. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Now let's look at the functionality of push buttons and demonstrate each mode in C trans P transmitter. You can move from mode to mode using M button. You push the mode button and you will see number two in the lower left hand corner of the display. That means that we are in mode two. To adjust this, apply pressure corresponding to lower range value to the transmitter and hold on up and down buttons for two seconds to set the lower range value to 4 milliamps output. Now we move to mode 3. Mode 3 is where you apply the upper range value of pressure that equal 20 milliamps, the full of scale. To adjust this, apply pressure corresponding to upper range value to the transmitter and hold on up and down buttons for 2 seconds to set the upper range value to 20 milliamps output just like adjusting zero and span in other brands. The next mode is mode four, which is damping. So you will note S in the lower right hand corner of the display. Damping is for how quickly the output will respond in response to an input pressure changes. Mode five and six, are the most important modes in the Citrans P DS3 transmitter. You can adjust lower range value, the start of scale, without application of pressure on the transmitter. This can be done by using up and down buttons to set the lower range value equal to 4 milliamps output. Then we move to mode 6, which is the pressure that equal 20 milliamps. You can adjust upper range value, the full of scale, without application of pressure on the transmitter. This can be done by manipulating with up and down buttons to set the upper range value equal to 20 milliamps output. That's an important factor, as most users will not have a pressure source that accurate enough to adjust the transmitter accurately. But there are some cases where you may use mode 2 and 3. For example, if you have a tank, you can set the start of scale of the level of an empty tank using mode 2. Then, you fill the tank to the upper range limit value and set full of scale using mode 3. And even you don't need to know what the pressure is. The next mode is mode 7. Mode 7 is used for zero adjustment. So I'm going to do a separated additional video in order to explain in detail of mode 7. We move to mode 8. In mode 8, you may use the C trans P transmitter itself as a current source. You hold both up and down buttons for two seconds then the transmitter turns to becoming a current source and you may send force values like 4, 12, 20 milliamps through the loop and check the controller or HMI at the control room. Next mode is mode 9. In mode 9, you may choose the fault current whether it's high or low. I mean choosing fail-safe low or fail-safe high. Usually, and in most applications, we choose fail-safe high, 22.8 milliamps. 
Next mode is mode 10. Mode 10 is for keyboard disabling, which means read only transmitter by locking the push buttons. For example, L0 allows you to set the zero. LS allows you to set the span. L is lock up the transmitter and zero to open it. If you want to unlock the transmitter, you have to be on the main display and hold the M button for about 7 seconds. If you need or require a very secure locking, you have to use a handheld communicator and choose LL option. Next mode is mode 11. In mode 11, the transmitter is set up to linear mode as the response will be in a straight line between two measuring points. For DP transmitter, you can choose a square route, as it can be used when you install the transmitter for flow measurement on a primary flow element such as an orifice plate or venturi tube, pitot tube or nozzle as well. If you have take the square root of the differential pressure that is linear with the flow. So in mode 11, we select one of three different square root types. Once you choose square root function, you will see a small square root in the bottom line of the LCD. So you don't need to take square root in the control system. Next mode is mode 12. Mode 12 only appear if you have choose a square root function. It's the percentage output where you will jump on the square root curve. We move to mode 13 by pushing on M button. We have milliamps or percentage or pressure units such as bar, pascal, millibar, etc. In mode 14, you choose what an engineering unit of pressure do you want to work in. So we demonstrated and did almost 90% of what a user need to do in order to calibrate Citrans PDS3 transmitter. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video to provide you with more detail about Mood 7.